All right, guys. Um, I want to talk about Blake Wesley because I didn't get a chance to elaborate on some of the things that I saw from last game. Yeah, we did takeaways, but I was talking about everybody. So we're going to talk about Blake Wesley, not only because I was impressed by that first preseason game, but also this news right here, the fact that he gained some weight is, it is insane. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? All right, guys. Okay. Blake Wesley. We got to talk about him. We have to. We, we got to talk about Blake. Um, now, before we do, if you guys want to support the channel, as always, clanthemerchfan.com, link in the description, or become a patron and YouTube member, only $2 per month. And if you don't want to do any of that, please just subscribe and like this video, and that will suffice. We are really growing. I really do appreciate all the love that you guys have shown. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So Tom Orsborne posted this, and it says, Blake Wesley has added 10 pounds in the offseason. Now, the reason why that's insane is because if you guys recall, we took a look at this posted by Ty Yeager. Shout out to Ty Yeager. Um, in which Wesley, it was listed that he only gained five pounds, which I summed up, hey, if you gained or lost five pounds on this list, I, I don't I don't really care that much. That could be water weight, whatever. I don't think five pounds is that significant. Uh, but some of the ones that stand, stood out was Branham. was like, what the heck? 15 pounds? Okay, he gained some muscle. Um, Barlow. Uh, he gained two inches what the heck and then it says blake wesley five so i just wrote it off but apparently according to blake wesley it's much more than that so we're going to take a look at this uh press conference and then uh, just a clip from the press conference and then i want to look at his stats from that first game because stats don't tell the full story uh, let me rewind let's go take it away how did you um, put on the weight? Did you work with a trainer or did you just do it on yeah, your own? Yeah, for sure. I worked with a trainer. Uh, got my eating habits better. Uh, usually I used to eat at like 10 o'clock, but I used to eat, now I used to eat at like 9 o'clock. Go to bed early. Uh, salsa really got me right, got me strong. But uh, yeah, thank you to the Spurs organization too for giving me 10 pounds. <laughs> Yeah, so he just said he gained 10 pounds. That's from his mouth, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna believe it. Cause sometimes uh those lists of okay, what do the guys look like now as far as what their weight is just so inaccurate. I mean, even Wimby's was inaccurate. I mean, Wimby said that he gained 15 pounds, and most people and most websites still have him at the same pound or, to, or the same he was coming into his draft. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at his stats because this doesn't tell the full story. And I'll just tell you a little bit about how I felt about him um offensively and defensively so blake wesley let's look at the stats let's get it over with because i know most people say it's not that big a deal uh seven points three for seven eh, is, is uh, okay i guess uh one rebound three assists okay so you might just look at that and just write them off and say whatever blake wesley yeah well it's the same old same old i don't know if he's going to be the future and that's not set in stone from one preseason game but i will say this he impressed me way more than he did during the summer league um during the summer league the first couple of games he looked uh pretty good taking high quality shots and then it kind of faded away and he went back to his old habits of continuously running straight to his left because of his athleticism and then just getting met at the rim and getting blocked at the rim but i felt like his quality of shots uh, were much higher in the preseason game in which he took some mid-range shots. He made sure he didn't force too much. His passing was much better. Now, were, was it inaccurate? Yeah, there were there were times it was inaccurate. I think he had a pass to, I could be wrong, you guys can correct me. I think the pass was to uh, Doug McDermott and it would have been, a th I think it would have been a three, but McDermott had to like catch it in a weird way and then he ended up missing it. It, it was really strange and that was all on Wesley. So Wesley's um accuracy pass accuracy is isn't the best it's still not the best but the idea is there like he's continuously making the right reads now um it seems like he finally caught up to the game there was this issue with him uh, prior where his ball handling wasn't necessarily strong enough where his athleticism is there but then he would lose the ball and fumble it around and it, it, was, it was pretty rough uh now i know in uh this game he had a turnover but if you if you guys paid attention, like he he played really well, I thought, um, and he's gonna look even better now that we have a star on the team in Wimby. So when he's out there with Wimby, he's gonna look really nice. Um, he's coming more than likely he'll be coming off the bench this season uh, next to Malachi Branham, 
uh, which it's weird because Malachi plays like a veteran. He always played like a veteran. Even in college, he looked like a veteran. Um, so he, he's coming off the bench basically with a veteran like Malachi, um, the way he plays at least. Uh, but with McDermott and Osman, I think that's really going to help him uh, tremendously. So I, I really liked what I saw. And I think that, I, I don't know, my mind is more at ease now that I saw Blake Wesley, at least in this first game. Obviously, he got to keep it up. You know, things are going to get much tougher than a preseason game versus the OKC Thunder. But from what I saw, I thought that he was much better than he was before. Um, even in this interview, he seems a little bit more confident, um, uh, qu even quicker with his speech. Just I don't know. He, he looks he looks hungry. OK, he, he looks hungry. He looks like he's ready to go uh, uh, bite, bite the head off of a, a, a tiger. I, I don't I don't know that that. I'm not, I'm not good at these, but yeah, he, he did, he did phenomenal. Uh, I'm really happy, uh, with how things are going or at least how it's shaping up. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm with it. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about that because uh, I think that I don't give Blake Wesley a lot of love. And I mean, yes, be real. There are other team or other players on this team that we can get a little bit more excited about. Obviously everyone's talking about Malachi Branham, but here's the thing. I will say this. While Malachi Branham, I do think that he's going to make the biggest jump this season. I know people want to say Devin Fassell. Don't necessarily think so. I think Devin Fassell already made a tremendous jump from the season prior. He was just hurt, so nobody really paid attention when he did play. Um, but he seems about the same as what he was last season. So, I don't know. People are going to see it as a jump, but I, I don't think he'll be making the biggest jump. I really actually think that the person that's going to make the biggest jump is Malachi Branham statistically. But let's be real. If we're being honest, as far as guys coming off the bench, there's two guys in particular that I think have the most potential um, in, on this team. At least coming off the bench. Obviously, Victor Wambayama has the most potential. Maybe second is probably Sohan. Third, maybe Devin Fassell. I don't, I don't know. But as far as guys coming off the bench, I think that he has the most potential, even over Malachi Branham, due to his athleticism alone. I think um, his competitiveness. And also, I think that he's going to be a better defender, which he already is one. But I think even in the future, uh, I never, I, I don't think Blake or, or Malachi Branham is going to be any type of lockdown defender or nothing like that. But I think Blake Wesley is a much better defender. And he has a lot of potential on that end of the the, the spectrum, too. And that's the that's really the reason why he's going to get playing time this season, too, is his defense. But man, if it can really come together, if he can combine that athleticism, um, that that competitiveness that he has along with uh, some of the skills that he learned over the offseason he's going to be a bad man and I, I i am here for it i am excited for it and yeah so i wanted to show him some love um and by the way serge barry right i mean i'm not gonna talk about him he looked good i i like what i saw from him but anyways i'll give it you guys later till next time bye